We're going to hit you with winterization. We're going to hit you with the admin fee. We're going to hit you with 3M. This car salesman is lifting the curtain on sales practices he says rip off customers. A lot of stuff is um, blown up fluff uh, for profit. So you're never going to buy that car for what you think you'll buy it for. Almost like $10,000 difference to what we advertise online. Until recently, he worked at this Kia dealership. Says the owner told his sales team to ignore the law. Alberta has what's called all-in pricing legislation. A number of other provinces have it too, or similar. When a dealership advertises a car, the price must include all fees and charges, except for taxes and any financing costs. So how many customers get that all-in price? Zero. Zero. Not one customer. So if a customer says, hey, I don't want to pay for this stuff, we sell them in their face um, um, bluntly, well, we're not selling the car to you. Go public, put it to the test. We sent a secret shopper in to supposedly buy this Kia car, advertised on the dealership's website for 29000 He's told he also has to pay for paint protection, tire and rim warranties, rubber mats, and other items. You're going to be faced with this everywhere that you go. So, legitimate ads. Mandatory add-ons that boost the advertised price by more than eight grand. It's not okay to force somebody to pay an extra $8,000. What they're doing, it's illegal. This auto expert blames the regulators, says even in clear cases where dealerships have broken the rules, they don't crack down. In the laws that they have on the books, they don't force them, period. And the dealers know that. In the past fiscal year, just two Alberta dealerships have had to pay back $4,000 total to customers who were overcharged. A spokesperson for the regulator said educating dealerships about the law is key. They may call the dealer say, don't do it again, or listen, be careful. That's all they're going to do, right? I mean, there should be sanctions. There should be penalties. The owner of Kia West Edmonton, Amadeo Palazzo, declined an interview request, saying in a statement his dealership follows the rules. Kia Canada said it's concerned about our secret shopper findings, has contacted the dealer, but says any more detail is confidential. Meantime, the dealership has removed all advertised pricing of new cars from its website. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.